and welcome back. Today I want to talk about the brand new 14TB WD Red NAS hard drives. That was quite a mouthful, wasn't it? But let's face it, WD Red has always been one of those brands in the world of network attached storage that is big. They were there very early days and they were one of the first brands to really champion the idea of NAS based hard drives. Now, 14 terabyte NAS hard drives are a big, big deal, particularly from a brand that sat on the 10TB mark for quite a long time. And only, you know, a matter of, I'm not even sure if it was two months ago, that uh, WD announced and released their 12 terabyte NAS hard drive. And now we're talking about 14 TBs. Things are starting to balance up between the big brands. So today I want to talk to you about why the 14 TB drive is interesting. First and foremost, the idea that 14 terabytes of storage are going to be available in a single bay of your NAS is a big, big, big deal. And once you start introducing things like RAID and multiple drives inside one storage array, you are looking at a serious amount of storage. One of the biggest problems when it's come to populating NASes since the early days is getting the most for your money. And with a two bay, of course, you can get things like RAID 1, and with a bigger one, you get RAID 5 and RAID 6. But ultimately, RAIDs cost you a certain amount of capacity. And thanks to bigger drives like this, you can buy a simple two bay NAS, put in two drives, and even in a RAID 1, still walk away with 14 terabytes of storage, which is a big big deal and it really cuts the costs and really helps you leverage your budget towards storage and still manage to cover hardware and vice versa. So let's talk about these two drives. It's going to, the 14 terabyte WD Red drives are going to arrive in two different versions. As, all, as their other drives have been, there's going to be a normal drive and a Pro Series drive. Both of them are going to arrive with the Nasware 3.0 controller and a system control inside that's going to control the drive. And I use the word control three times in one sentence there. <laughs> Terrible. Um, but ultimately, they arrive with tweaks and performance overheads that are designed for NAS use. Now, the big difference between the standard and the pro, of course, is not only the price, but their intended use. The regular drives are designed... Uh, to be used in normal hard drives of up to uh, normal NAS drives, I should say, for up to eight bays. They're 5400 RPM in speed, which will give you around a 100 to the 110 or so megabytes per second read write. Uh, the drive also arrives with a 256 megabits of cache, uh, megabyte of cache on board to keep things flowing, and it arrives with three years of manufacturer's warranty, as well as uh, it's being rated at 180 terabytes written per year. Let's look at my notes briefly. Uh, it's got a 1 million MTBF um, hours, and which is you know fairly standard if you rate these kind of things, and. The drive itself is, of course, going to arrive at a more affordable price than the Pro Series because it is designed for home and small business, really, when it comes to that kind of NAS use from brands like Synology and QNAP. Now, we've looked at the prices of the existing WD range, and we think the WD Red 14TB standard drive is going to arrive at about 350 to 420 quid, and that's without VAT on top. That's because the traditional range retails at somewhere between 25 to 30 odd quid per terabyte. Now, if we move to the Pro series of drives, things are familiar with the odd difference. For a start, the drive is going to be more expensive. It's going to arrive, we think, again, at about 490 to about 510 at the top without that. What do you get for that money? Well, for a start, it is a 7200 RPM drive, which means your read and writes are going to be in the 200 mark. And once again, once you introduce multiple drives into a RAID array within a NAS or DAS, you get performance benefits of multiple drives being read and written to simultaneously. So the faster the individual drives are in a RAID, the better, because you get better overall performance, and that if you're using 10 GBE or 5 GBE, or you're taking advantage of Thunderbolt connectivity, you will definitely see the advantages. Now, next to that, you get five years of manufacturer's warranty, and the drive itself is geared and designed to more enterprise use. That means that when you are utilizing that disk, you can use it in NAS, DAS, and sandboxes that are RAID enabled all the way up to 24 bays, which is huge. And because they're designed to be in that um, arrangement and that kind of um, chassis, you end up with a better construction quality and 
um, an improved and more forensic level control of vibration and heat sensors within the drive because you have more drives being read and written to within that RAID environment and of course because NASes are designed to be on for days, weeks, months or even years at a time this device, the, both of these drives are designed to work very well within up to 8 bays and up to 24 bays with regards to control of vibration, overall speed, cache management and just general access times. With of course the Pro Series requiring a little bit more power and making a little bit more noise as the arm and the platters all work and the dri drive is in operation. Now, both of these series of drives are not available right now. We are hoping to see them in the near future, at least before the end of 2019. I reckon we'll get them in somewhere for November, December, perhaps. And of course, there is a link in the description to take you through to both NASCompares and Spam.com. But what's worth highlighting is that right now, uh, the kind of reigning champ in terms of capacity, Seagate, is once again going to be a loggerhead and battling with the likes of WD because WD may have sat on that 10 TB drive for quite a while probably longer than they should have they still released bigger and better drives in other ranges and and with HDST as well so it's great that WD Red is now coming into the fold if you've got any questions about this or if maybe I've missed something perhaps you've got a point to add that I didn't cover bung it in the comments and click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video but otherwise i will see you next time